Hi, I'm TLC from Quantum Balance Crystals, and I'm the heart of QVC. And welcome to the deep dive into the orange sacral chakra. It's our number two chakra center, and it's located in the lower abdomen. And in this video, we are going to share with you the meaning, the purpose, and exercises and tips of how you can open up your chakra and be more flowing. And we're going to give you tools that you can use in your daily life. The first step of opening up your sacral chakra is relationships. And it's really important for you to start looking at your relationships and really seeing how they're working for you and how they're serving you. And a lot of times you become in an energy where we project onto the other person. So really stand back, take a breath, and really take a look at the relationships you're in and just see how they're working for you. For example, so when I was going through my relationship, opening up my sacral chakra, I went through a divorce. And what I noticed that everybody I was attracting after that was very much in the same energy as my ex. And so then I had heard at a workshop that you really attract the same partner that you left. And I was like, I want to attract my soulmate. I want to attract somebody that resonates with me. And so... I started doing my spiritual work and one of my mantras I did in that spiritual work was to show me, show me a man that knew I was coming from my heart because I always in my relationships will lose my power. So that's why working with my energy centers became so vital for me because I really wanted to know the truth about what was inside of me. And what I discovered in that process was I was my own soulmate and that I was the one I was looking for. And when I realized that, my whole energy just shifted and something changed. And from then on, I knew I was going to attract my beloved and a, and a partner that was going to really get me and know I was coming from my heart. If you have any relationships that are creating great stress in your life, what I would like you to do is look at these relationships at a different eye, a different view, and take all the emotional energy out of it. And you can do this in meditation, and you'll be really surprised to see what you're learning and what you discover about yourself in the relationship. But you really have to take the emotional energy out, detach, and see it more clearly. So when you're in a relationship and you guys are feeling a lot of stress and you're creating a lot of stress for yourself, Sometimes it's really hard to see what is really going on because you're in it. It's like you're in the movie. And so for me, I had to move to another state to be able to see it because it was so much. And there seemed like to be so many issues. But you know what? When I moved myself from that energy, I was able to see clearly what was really going on. And when you see clearly, then you start knowing that you can make changes and make choices that are more healthier for you looking at relationships it's not just for your partner it could be for your family i have children too so i was looking at every relationship in my in, for my children and then i was also looking at the relationship with my father relationship with my mother it was all relationships i wanted to be healthy and i wanted to be able to nurture them and working on your sacral chakra really balances it all out where you can love and nurture all your relationships and you just end up being just a different presence there for, for everyone to be around. Okay, so after you take yourself out of the relationship energy, you're going to see the projection. There's so much projection going on that um, partners blame each other. For me, I was blaming myself. I thought everything was my fault. And when you start working with your sacral chakra, and that shifts and shifts and shifts and starts opening, it's like the blame game is done. You see relationships so much differently and you don't project anymore. You really see who you are and you see who they are and you see them without all that emotional energy and trauma around them. All right, let's talk a little bit more about the blame game. When I was blaming myself so bad, I realized I was feeling like I was a problem and 
when I worked with my sacral chakra, one of my, my, or my affirmations is I am the solution. And I started saying that to myself, I am the solution. I am the solution. And just saying that really into your being and trusting it shifted me open to realize I was a solution. I've never been the problem in the blame game. Like I said, again, it just stopped. It's amazing how this work will shift your consciousness and open you up into a whole other world. All right, so the second thing about opening up your sacral chakra is trust. And trust is so important to trust yourself, trust, trust others, and even to trust the universe is supporting you. But most important is trusting that inner voice that's inside of you. And sometimes we're not even in touch with that because we have so many issues and drama around us that we don't even hear our own inner voice. But the more we work with our energy centers and we tune in, the more that voice starts to, starts to open up and awaken because we're feeling into our body and the sacral chakra is all about feeling. And so the more we feel our own energy, the more you're gonna hear your intuition or the inner voice inside of you. And that's what you start trusting. And trusting is accepting. You start accepting what that inner voice is guiding you to do. And it will guide you on the next step and the next step if you just keep following it and trusting it. Because your source energy, your inner self, has all the intelligence. It holds it all for you to have a more optimal, balanced life. If you ever feel like you don't trust yourself or you don't trust others, these are the first signs that you really need to work on your sacral chakra. Because trusting is accepting your intuition. And your intuition is going to wake up. And when you start trusting that, little by little, your trust is going to grow. It's like a muscle. It's going to grow and grow. And then all of a sudden you'll be in a space where you're going to feel total trust of yourself and trust of others. And you'll be in that confidence. All right, so when we're looking at trust and we're listening to our inner voice, we might really start being, being revealed to us is addictions and dependency. And that's also in the orange sacral chakra. If we heal our chakra, we will release our attachments to addictions and our dependencies. And that's a real gift of the orange sacral chakra is that we can free ourselves up from that energy. The third step of opening up our sacral chakra is curiosity. And curiosity is the wonder of the unknown. And it is also to getting to know how things work. And just like a little child, you get really curious. And that's what happens when you're working with your energy centers and you're hearing your inner voice open up. You get really curious about what else is it gonna say? What's the next step it's gonna, because it starts getting really fun because you see your patterns, you see your addictions, you see, everything in a different way. And when you're working more centered in your energy center of orange, the addiction start to like melt away too. And something detaches in your consciousness and you become very free. So you get more curious and more curious. You want to find more patterns, more addictions. You want to bust through them all because now at this stage, you want freedom. Freedom is your birthright and that's what you're going to go for. So Curiosity is so much fun to work with. Another thing about curiosity is it's seeing the world brand new. And it's kind of like Plato's cave, that inside the cave, all the people in there were seeing shadows all around them on the walls. And then one person went outside the cave and saw color, 3D objects, people, places. And he was so excited about it, he ran back into the cave and he tried to tell everybody what he had saw and all they know is the shadows and so that story really relates to what's going on here in the sacral chakra because for me too when i started really exploring inside and listening to my, my intuition i saw color inside of me i saw the rainbow and that i was too trying to tell everybody in the world about what i saw so it's really hard to explain but you know it's so worth it it's so amazing so the more I did, I even got more curious and more. I wanted to see more of what that brand new world was. So I just kept meditating and meditating and just trusting my intuition. 
Okay, the fourth step of opening up your sacral chakra is creativity. And a lot of people tell me that they don't have creativity. Or I hear a lot of people say, I'm not creative. But let me tell you something, you are creative. Creativity is inside of everyone. And the more you practice and practice it, the more it will open up and awaken. So creativity is about experimenting with things and putting things together and mix and matching things and practicing. And just when you have ideas that you really don't think will happen, if you start piecing it together little by little, you get really creative and you can really create some amazing masterpieces. So when you're really creative and you're really enjoying what you're doing and that you could even be in create, you could even be creative in your job, in your workspace. It's just when you practice creativity, it's amazing how much more fulfilled you will be. The final step of opening up our sacral chakra is joy. And joy will actually emerge through you and bubble up when you have done all the steps of opening up the sacral chakra because you're going to be trusting, you're going to be curious, and then your creative force is going to open up. And you're going to be so creative. And through that creativity, you're going to be inspiring yourself. And sometimes you're going to be like, I am so inspired by my own creation. And that is going to feel so joyful to you. And it is going to be so joyful to you when you are, are experiencing healthy relationships all around you. And relationships that are really serving you. And your relationships will become effortless. And that will all bring up joy. And joy is who we are and what we want to experience. All right, so one thing I realized when I was doing my own meditations and really looking into the sacral chakra is that I saw myself in a healthy relationship. And what I realized is that I never knew what it looked like. And so that's why I never had it. And so most of us in relationships, we don't really know or have had a role model of what a healthy relation looks like. And so that's when I had to be creative and I had to create a vision in my mind of what I thought and felt good of what a relationship would look like. And then when I'm looking back at myself in my meditation, I'm actually seeing thoughts that I were having inside that I never thought I even deserved it. And you know what? Let me tell you, you deserve to help a healthy relationship and be creative in your meditation and create what the healthy relationship looks like and what you want it to look like. And then really put that feeling tone of the orange energy into your vision. And that is going to come and be manifested for you. And it will be an effortless experience. But the key was, how do we do something we don't know? That's what trust is about with the sacral chakras, we trust the unknown because we've never been in this healthy place before. So we're trusting all our little guidance and steps along the way. And it's just like a popcorn, just phew, all of a sudden it's right there. It shifts for you. The energy will shift. And for me, when I was doing my meditation, I actually felt the old relationship energy shift out of my body and leave my body. And then I knew from then on, I was only going to resonate with relationships that served me and that were healthy. And I knew, I had a knowing inside of me that that's what I deserved. Now I'm going to give you some of my simple affirmations that I use for my own process and my own experience of opening up my sacral chakra. So number one is, all my relationships are nurturing and fulfilling. Number two is, I am my own soulmate. And number three is, I am creativity and it shows and I trust the process. It's number four. All right, in conclusion, I want to thank you all for tuning in and listening and exploring the sacral chakra with me. And I want you all to know that you deserve to be in a healthy relationship and a relationship that really brings you joy. And I want you to trust the process and enjoy the journey. Enjoy your journey with the sacral chakra.